Ryan Garcia getting carried away, but it's probably going to get a whole lot of pay. Calling out Errol Spence Jr. for a fight at 154 pounds. Let's talk about that in this video. Man, ain't this funny. Ain't this funny. It's going to be about a whole lot of money getting paid to Ryan Garcia if he gets the fight that he says he wants. And that is with Errol Spence Jr. And that is interesting for a whole lot of reasons. Before I get into that, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really makes a big difference to the channel. But let's get into this. Uh, Ryan Garcia beat up Devin Haney. Oh, yeah, he did. I don't want you to tell me that he didn't beat him up. I don't want to hear nothing about no cheating. I don't want to hear about no weight, this weight, none of that. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Not that because I don't think it's true. Not that be not that I don't think that Ryan Garcia played some games and purposely miss weight. I do. I believe it. I think that it is completely plausible and possible and probable that he said I'm not making 130, 43 pounds. Excuse me, I'm not making 140 pounds. No, I'm not making 140 pounds. I'm coming in here at 143 and I'm going to miss it on the scale. And I'm not telling you ahead of time. So you got a chance to come in at 143. What I'm about to do is win this fight. Hook a crook, hook and crook, because doggy crooked them. Then he hooked them. OK, because then ain't nobody tell Devin to stand there and get hit in the jaw. Anyway, that said, I understand 100 percent. That Devin Haney was got over on by Ryan, but he got but he got over on him and now he's on to the next. So he's now going to try to get over on somebody else for a lot more money in a fight that I actually like a lot because it's got a lot of story behind it. Him and Errol Spence Jr. Number one, Ryan is crazy enough to actually go and fight Errol. And he probably does think Errol is completely washed. So he feels like Errol is washed. So he goes up to 154 pounds to fight Errol. That, my friend, will sell out Texas Stadium. There's going to be 40,000, 50,000 people that will pay to see Errol Spence fight uh, Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia, who is already fighting it at 147, can blow up no matter however big he wants. Errol, there's no title on the line. Errol can weigh as much as he wants. And we can see Errol Spence Jr. annihilate Ryan Garcia. Now, the other side of it is that you have that you is that you have um, Derek James, who no longer trains Errol Spence and Derek James would be training Ryan Garcia <laughs> to fight Errol Spence. Now, if anybody knows Errol Spence Jr., Derek James knows Errol Spence Jr. So the, the fact that they had the same, they used to have the same trainer adds even more to it. Let me tell you, I'll take it. I'll take it because I'm an Errol Spence fan. I actually like Ryan Garcia too. Cannot lie. I like Ryan. Ryan seems to me to be a good dude. He's a genuine dude. Um, I've gone through some of the same experiences that he's gone through. And um, I, and I, like I said, before the fight took place, man, like, yeah, I was like, man, this dude doesn't seem all the way there. He, I mean, he seems like he's kind of out there a little bit, but I've been out there and I said, look, man, that don't mean you can't fight. And sometimes, man, a little crazy is what you need because it's just going to allow you just to be you without fear. Ryan got in there absolutely without fear. The fact that Devin couldn't punch has something to do with that, too. But Errol Spence Jr., that's a different beast, man. That's a different beast, especially if Errol Spence Jr. was not, especially if Errol is not washed, right? And I don't think Errol is washed. So, Arrow getting in there with him is a big fight. I'll take it. Um, 
And it, it is one of these things, man, where um, it's entertaining. You know what I mean? It's entertaining. Ryan Garcia, I don't think is, uh, I think he's an underestimated fighter. I think he's a very underestimated fighter. He, the like people dogging him out or just saying that like, like just not eating the proper amount of crow on this man. Ryan Garcia beat Devin Haney. He outthought Devin Haney. He outperformed Devin Haney. He beat Devin Haney. He beat Devin Haney before the fight. He beat Devin Haney in the fight. If he doesn't fight De- if he doesn't fight Devin Haney next and he goes to get an Arrow Spence Jr. fight, he beat Devin after the fight. Just all the way around did what he wanted to do to Devin Haney. And you got to appreciate it just a little bit, even if you don't like the guy. So now he's going to pick and choose who he fights. He is going to be what people tried to sell Jake Paul as or what Jake Paul wants to be. <laughs> Jake Paul was oh, he was like a, he's he's an inst, he's a social media creation. That's Jake Paul I'm talking about with a personality that talks smack and got in there and fought a bunch of dudes half his size. Right. And people were acting like, yeah, this is the greatest thing since uh, greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, nah, I, I'm not one of those dudes, but I see what Ryan Garcia is doing with it. Ryan didn't care about that WBC belt. He didn't care about he didn't care. About, I don't think he, he didn't care about the WBA belt when he fought Germante. Didn't care about it at all. He's like, that's why I still let me fight at 136. Then he fights Devin Haney. He doesn't care about the WBC 140 pound belt. He goes up, he fights uh, Errol Spence. He doesn't care. He won't care about he won't care about that belt either. <laughs> He'll just care about the fact that he's going to fill up the Texas. He's going to fill up Texas Stadium. There's going to be a lot of smack talking going back and forth. You got a guy who's got a huge fan, two guys with who probably now have really big fan bases. I suspect it is OK to now say Ryan Garcia has got his fan base back. Because he, because he has seven million, eight million people commenting on his commenting on his text and his tweet. Man, boxing is in a wild place, man. It's a wild, it's a wild place right now. But I'll take it. Again, the biggest sell point on the fight, though, for me personally, would be the Dare James issue, the Dare James thing. Um, and if Ryan Garcia can beat. Uh, Errol Spence, man, he's, he's just going to be a superstar. That's just what it is. It's just, he'll be one of the biggest names in boxing without ever winning a title. More than likely, though, he's going to get demolished. If anything is going to get Errol Spence Jr. to focus completely and utterly on trying to destroy somebody, it is going to be him fighting Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia is <laughs> and that left hook, that left hook on that southpaw, it at the weight that Ryan Errol Spence Jr. will weigh in, that thing's probably not going to do anything to him. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. Man, what an interesting, what an interesting sport we got. I, I love it. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.